Most of you, probably all of you, ठीक है? See, UPSC, the examiners in UPSC, they are hired for ten years time. ऐसा नहीं है कि इस साल किसी को बुलाया next year somebody else it doesn't happen like that. If somebody is appointed as a UPSC examiner, he or she is hired for a period of ten years, and before they are given the job for which they are hired, they are also given training on various dimensions of answer writing, corrections, and other things. Paper setters are differently appointed, examiners are differently appointed. So they also undergo training. What dimensions you need to look if this particular thing has been given in the question and all those things, right? So making it very important to understand for you how to write. What is happening? No matter whatever we are asking in the question format, you are writing what you know. If you write what you know rather than writing what has been asked. then he will give the marks what he knows not you want to know okay so it is very diff very important for you to write what he has asked and if you see the papers this time 1 2 3 and 4 if if i was in your place i would say an informed person not attending any upsc classes can easily pass upsc exam i am reiterating my statement an informed person means जो रिलीजियसली न्यूज पेपर अगर कोई फोर फाइव ईयर्स से पढ़ रहा है ही विदाउट अटेंडिंग ए सिंगल क्लास कैन पास यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन वाई बिकॉज आई टोल्ड सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हूम आई वॉज काउंसिलिंग लास्ट वीक इट इज नॉट हॉरिजोंटल टेस्टिंग इन मेन्स इट इज वर्टिकल टेस्टिंग इन मेन्स प्रिलिम्स इज ऑल अबाउट हॉरिजोंटल टेस्टिंग वेन डिट दी चौरी चौरा इंसिडेंट हैपेंड वॉट वॉज द टाइम फ्रेम who all participated kisne kya likha what is the book what was the party formed this is called horizontal information but in mains the question does not come horizontally the question comes how the chauri chaura incidents and the proclamation or the cancellation of the non cooperation movement by gandhi ji became a platform for further agitations so this is called vertical questioning a question came in gs paper 3 with the life expectancy in india on a general rise what are the challenges being faced chala iske liye koi kitab padhne ki zarurat hai kya do you have to read any book to answer this kind of questions so these kind of questions see he is trying to hint at one particular sector of your population that is elderly that is elderly so now you are responsibility to make template see upsc may do not think that your preparation ends in the classroom your preparation ends in the classroom only with respect to that classroom again i am making you the statement when you go back home sit on the table and when you study that is your real preparation this is not your real preparation this is your sub real preparation but what you will do sitting on your table in the classroom hostel wherever you are sitting that is where your output will come only that will help you in the examination on what is happening here will only give you a premise understanding of what things are what you sit and do will only give i'll tell you how i'll explain in the course of uh, discussion also what you need to do for your mains and other things right so i thought a small ppt 20 30 slides i have put trying to give you a holistic perspective of what mains answer writing is all about in this presentation today within a day or two or maybe two three days ke andar we will have one more session where i will discuss about all the indicative words discuss elucidate explain detailedly samjhaunga agar ye word aaya hai at the end of the what you call uh, uh, question how you have to make an approach all these things indicative directive indicatives i'll teach in another class rest everything related to answer writing i'll try to cover in the today's class only probably one one and a half hour time lagega after that we'll go to the explanation session maybe this week explanation session would be spread in two to three classes so bear with me because of this particular requirement which I, because i was not feeling satisfied at all people are just reproducing what is there either in the notes or what language i have used in the class verbatim 
एंड सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर राइटिंग स्टोरी फॉर्मेट में आंसर राइटिंग आंसर राइटिंग स्टोरी राइटिंग इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट डू नॉट मेक दैट मिस्टेक इन द एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है बिकॉज यू विल नॉट गेट मार्क्स यू आर कंपीटिंग फॉर द मोस्ट प्रेस्टीजियस पोजिशन इन दिस सोसाइटी बिलीव मी यू आर कंपीटिंग फॉर द मोस्ट प्रेस्टीजियस पोजिशन सो यू हैव टू मेक यूर सेल्फ केपेबल ऑफ दैट प्रेस्टीजियस पोजिशन ओके सो विद दिस एज अ स्मॉल प्रिल्यूड विल स्टार्ट आर टूडेज प्रेजेंटेशन विच इज प्राइमरली ऑन दी पार्ट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस फॉर यूपीएससी सिविल सर्विसेस मेन्स एग्जाम वन मोर वार्निंग हियर इट सेल्फ आई विश टू गिव दिस इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर अंडर गोइंग फाउंडेशनल लर्निंग दिस इज मोर प्राइमरली फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर इन द मेंटोरशिप बैच यू हैव टू गेट इन टू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ राइटिंग ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन एट ए स्ट्रच you will not write one question and two questions if you do not do it now you will not be able to do it ever i am telling you when you sit you have to sit for 3 hours and write because you will not be able to write in the examination if you no cannot write see out of 20 19 is the worst performance if it is you are written only 18 means consider yourself to be out of the race very simple and straight logic so if you have to write those 20 answers in the practice also you have to write those 20 answers write the questions of answers that you know and practice i am not saying you know try to write which you do not know whatever subjects you have covered whatever topics you have covered make a question for yourself read it and then try to write but write all the 20 answers in one stretch in 3 hours initially it will take 6 hours 5 and 1/2 hours 5 hours gradually you will come down to 2 hours 55 minutes ye aayega but provided you will practice theek okay? hai chalo with this as a small introduction we'll start the importance of answer writing practice the most important thing is as i told you without practice you guys will not be able to write practice is a must to overcome very very important both physical and both physical and mental fatigue this this what you call the physical fatigue to fine but mental fatigue is very very important you get tired thinking too much of thinking the brain is at complete exposure time planning becomes easy this is very important yeah if you write sitting here in the class this will give you a feel of examination hall you will see that in examination hall if at all you happen to clear prelims and write your mains after 2 hours the answer sheets will start falling water bottles will start falling you will see this and you will come and tell me sir jo aapne bola tha yahi hua you will see people falling also you will see people also falling in the examination hall that is when the mental fatigue and you know has taken over that particular student it will improve the flow of thought immediately on reading a question if your flow of thought is not improving it means that you are not putting the correct approach to that answer that flow of thought is important what was the first question gs paper 3 something related to ppp a uh, public private partnership how it is you don't have to attend any class to write that answer some 8 to 9 questions came in economy not even one question was from technical dimension it was all generic i'll talk how to how to open the discussions and all we'll talk it will help you to deal with unknown situations on the day of an exam if you start practicing very important even the choice of pen if you are used to a particular pen whether blue or black you will have to practice writing with that pen only you will not change the pen every now and then because the gripping will change the speed will change the flow of ink will change you will get disturbed so try to write with that same pen from day 1 that is what it is advisable mock test at the same time this is english you leave now most of the students believe that it is not very important it eats lot of preparation time writing practice ke sir likhne mein i am taking too much of time so it is eating up my preparation time no it is your fault that you are not writing an answer in 9 minutes in practice also do not curse the time taken because of your inability you have to practice it if you are competing for this position you have to practice it there is no second thought 
it is all about accumulation of knowledge, people feel so. If it is accumulation of knowledge, you cannot write the kind of questions that he is asking. No amount of knowledge will help you. I am, I am, use, I am listening to this word too much. Sir, content is important. I agree, completely agree, content is important. If you have learned 100 pages of content before your UPSC examination, believe me, you will not even remember 2 pages of content in the examination hall. This is going to happen. So, that is when you will not be dependent on content, but your ability to write an answer without the support of a content. Getting my point? So, that is when it becomes important. The more I read, the more I will be able to write. This is one notion. The more I read, the more I will be able to write. Initially, for foundation students, every day one question, whatever has been taught to you in the classroom, go back and try to write, frame a question for yourself. You do not need anybody to frame a question for you. Frame a question, try to write and see how you are able to write. Put a clock in front of you. First day you may take half an hour, 25 minutes, 20 minutes, 18 minutes, 16 minutes, 14 minutes, 13 minutes. Gradually the time will reduce. You will see it for yourself. The moment you are touching anywhere between 10 to 11, it is only a matter of time that you will fall within that 9 minutes of bracket, which is very, very important. Take Now, I need not practice. I will deliver on the D-Day. These are many fighters. Jake on the final day, Salah invigilator ko bhi card dunga and you know. So, this D day will be his D day, not your D day. Thikha? So, that day, one of my students uh, who wrote mains this time, he said, Sir, by the, by the time in the paper 3, GS paper 3, uh, by the time I reached the 13th question, my hand literally froze. His, his word was, I am, not, I was literally moving my hand holding with my hand, the right hand holding with me because no practice, this, this muscle will go for a toss and it pains very badly, believe me, it pains very badly. Good handwriting is a must for scoring high, no, come out of this, but it does not mean that it is written illegibly, wantedly, do not do this mistake, you have to write legibly. If your handwriting is difficult for him to read, do not think that he will not read or cut ke side me fake he still duty want to read, but he will penalize you for that, because you made him do extra effort, no. But he is supposed to correct your paper, what happens is, when initially that you know formation of words E, A, F, we find it difficult to comprehend. But after reading half a page or one page, I get accustomed to your answer writing. But because you forced me to read so deliberately that first page or half a page, I will penalize you for that. So, bad handwriting ke liye penalization hoga aapko. So, you will have to develop on that. Please come out of this. You do not have to write a best answer in UPSC. I am again reiterating, you have to write an average answer. You do not need thesis type of presentation. Most of the students are victims of this perfectionism in UPSC. He is not looking for perfect answer from you. He is looking for a decent average answer from you. I am a fresher, I do not stand any chance in front of the repeaters. He is repeating because he is not good. Let us accept it that way, the way it is. So, you will have to prove that you are better than him by clearing it in the first attempt. My command over English language is not very good, I may not score well. If you have the subject vocabulary base over a period of time, you do not need anything. There are something known as keywords. If you can by heart these keywords subject wise and try to put those keywords as and when required, as and where required, automatically your answer will come out good. So, that is where the importance of keywords for each subject is important. Answer writing from day of the preparation, day one say you have to start you know developing the habit of answer writing, very, very important. Many questions, are, many students ask me, sir the same class she was also sitting, the same class I was also sitting, she got first rank, I did not pass prelims also. Now, how do you, how do you justify this? Same educational background, when both joined together, she joined, you know, what you call in the afternoon, he joined in the evening. That is the only difference, sir. She attended all the classes, I also attended all the classes. She got first rank, I did not even pass prelims. What is the difference? I was also attentive in the class, she was also attentive in the class. Now, tell me what was the difference? Everybody got same information, no? I, I gave the same information to her, I gave the same information to him. She got first rank, example, that he did not pass prelims. Take so, what, is, what could be the reason? What could be the reason?
somebody said revision what is what could be the reason I taught you wildlife protection act 1972 for 2 hours full blast information transferred from my head to your head. Take it. Now when you go back home that is when you ask yourself why this wildlife protection act what would have happened? Why India enacted the wildlife Pro you know protection act 1972? The question mark in your mind started. You google, you go back to something as a CITS there is something CITS what is this CITS, what are they trying to protect, then you go back to something else. That is when you found that world level pe bhi kuch ho hai. It means my efforts are aligned with the world in a particular segment of governance. Wildlife protection is part of governance in some dimensions, yes or no. So that is when that student went and tried to analyze, this student only tried to go back and verbatimly by heart the contents of the data transfer which I did from me to her. So this girl went two steps beyond this guy only relied on that repetition. Now tell me whose approach is right? Obviously her approach is right because now anything asked in periphery of the world protection, wildlife protection act, will she not be able to answer better? Will his, will his awareness level not get confined to that box of what his information he has got? So try to understand that what differentiates you is the content that you have developed, you need to express your views and present it very, very differently. That is where your class notes reproduction will not help you in UPSC. You cannot reproduce what has been taught in the class exactly. If you do that, you the biggest sin you are committing against your own self. I am not committing anything because that question will not be asked in the same perspective. I will just change the tone and ask the question, you will not be able to write because you try to by heart what is there in the class. So that is where you have to understand the importance of developing the art of answer writing. It is not mugging and reproducing. graduation Now you cannot do it beyond this point. You have to put in your own views in that. You ask any IAS senior IAS officer who was retired or in service, the only and only advice they give, express yourself. Because the invigilator, all, the moment you write first line, no, he will know whether you have read PT 465 or 565, he will know. The moment you write the conclusion, he will know your way forward, ki kon se baba se uthaya hai. he knows. Provided you write something different, he will honor your views, you will get much more marks. Factually, you may not be as strong as others, but still you will end up getting more marks. Take care. Try to understand that. Yeah. There is one more dimension to this. We will talk about that. Yeah. It is given here. This dilemma always remains, no? Most of the toppers say point form. See. Point form ka best advantage is easy to write. It is easy to write and you can write faster. If there are 20 questions in a GS paper, 9 to 12 bracket could be point form. You can write in point form, no, no worries. But you need to write some answers where analyzing a situation or an issue is there that cannot be done in the point form so, so clearly. So choose those questions and then try to write those questions in paragraph forms. When everybody else will write in point form, if you write in paragraph form with the support of some diagrams or some tables here and there, you stand to get much better than others, okay? that is one dimension. This, this one area, I see somebody underlining 60 percent of it. I see somebody not underlining at all, both are wrong. All side headings you will have to underline, all side headings, I will show you, uh, there are some uh, pictures also I have kept, all side headings per force you have to underline. Any factual information where you want him to draw his attention to, 
you will have to underline. Any committee's name or any eminent personality's name you have mentioned, you will have to underline. If a line is giving a particular message which is in line with the tone of the question, you will have to underline that also. So, you are while you are under see the intention of underlining is reducing the reading burden of the invigilator, not showcasing your knowledge. Please understand this, there is a subtle difference. The intention of underlining is when you read only the underlining part, it should follow a flow of thought. It should not be that he you are trying to impress him with the points that you have written. That is not the purpose of underlining. The purpose of underlining is to reduce the burden of the invigilator in a shorter frame of words and sentence, maintaining the flow of thought throughout. That is the purpose of your underlining. Remember that when you do the underlining. As a thumb rule, it is said that not more than 15 to 20 percent of your content should be underlined. See very simple, in UPSC, if this is the page, if this is the page, generally in a page you will get 15 lines to write. In a page you will get 15 lines to write and each line will have on an average of 5 to 6 words. This is the general benchmark average, right? Because there are what you call, uh, there are columns to the left and right also. So, that is when what happens is 15 fives are 75, that is when for a 150 words answer you get 2 pages to write and for a 250 words answer you get only 3 pages to write. So, here if I make 75 into 3, it is uh, around 75 into 3 is 225, right? So, 25 words you adjust here and there. That is the reason why they are giving you. So, you now it is your responsibility that in the process of preparation, you have to come to these dimensions. You cannot write only 3 words or 4 words and continue, that will not look good. See, in the first impression, I will come to know. see there is no machine in UPSC calculating the number of words, scanner medal or number of words, that is not the point. Because if you use more number of words to express something, you killing your own time. That is the logic of giving this bracketing. UPSC, each and every dimension of UPSC is thoroughly researched. It could be 200 words also, no? but there is a reason why it is 150 words and 250 words. So, that is when you have to understand. There are many times, this is a lije, pe page number diya hai. For example, there are some students who try to go here also. Do not do that mistake do not do that mistake. It only shows that you lack brevity in your answer writing. I may not directly punish you, but I will be judgmental on it. Ek opinion bana lunga, isko samaj, isko, uh, he does not know how to briefly explain what he is trying to convey. It, that negative impression has happened. I do not get carried away, ke, I will get positive, ke, iske paas itna jada hai likhne ke it is not college examination. It is not at all college examination. He will punish you, may not be directly ke minus 1 for this question, but he will have it in his mind before giving marks to you. So, do not commit these mistakes. Never write in these columns. You are not supposed to write anything here whatsoever. It is not meant for you, neither the right column, neither the left column. So, you have to develop that art 5 to 6 words in a line, 15 to 16 lines in a page, that is all, nothing else. Theke? Automatically, your page setup will come properly. Theke? Now, One, one slide, I may take the maximum time. See, it is always said that if your introduction is bad, no matter how good your answer is, I will not read. Because I have formed an opinion based on your introduction that your answer is going to be bad or good. If it is good, you get the, you know, what you call advantage of start a good start. Most of the students use this style of writing the introduction most of the students. Say for example, there is a question on say for example, any economy related uh, question, PPP hum question pagadte. Say the question, can anybody read the question please? Anybody just Google and read the question for me. Faster, 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 itna time nahi. Any question, life expectancy, any question you read. Chale. Life expectancy wala read kar. Sir, 
लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी क्वेश्चन रीड करो आई कैन गिव अ बेटर एग्जाम्पल दे जस्ट गो डाउन अ लिटिल लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी विच सब्जेक्ट वॉट इज द सिलेबस लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी वॉट इज द सब्जेक्ट एंड सिलेबस रेफरेंस इंडियन सोसाइटी में लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी जीएस पेपर थ्री में कौन था वो कौन था जीएस पेपर थ्री बोला नागार्जुन नहीं हाँ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट वॉलनराबल सेक्शन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज वाई डे वन आई टेल यूअर सब्जेक्ट सिलेबस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू पढ़ते नहीं हो रीड द क्वेश्चन लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी वेट इंक्रीज इन लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी हैज लेट टू न्यूअर हेल्थ चैलेंजेस ओके इन द कम्युनिटी ओके ओके वॉट चैलेंजेस एंड वॉट स्टेप्स हाउ मेनी पार्ट इन द क्वेश्चन can anybody tell me what is the difference between conclusion and way forward tum sale sab khichdi bana rahe ho ha conclusion aur way forward mein kya kya fark hai way forward is coming from the conclusion he is asking for a way forward here Are yes or no? Will you give conclusion? You will not give conclusion. मैं बता रहा हूँ सबको ना फांसी की सजा होगी 302 जीरो टू आई पी सी सेक्शन थ्री जीरो टू शाजी राते हिंद दफा तीन सौ दो के तहत फांसी की सजा होगी हाँ You mean to say that you will not write conclusion when it is a way forward. Now, steps is asking you for a way forward here, right? In indirectly is asking you for a way. Will you still conclude or not? Is my question. You will conclude. Okay. So now, when way forward is there, conclusion is there. How do you differentiate between them? If you written a way forward, ki inke liye ye hona chahiye, ye hona chahiye, ye hona chahiye. What does conclusion signify? conclusion signifies your final your final view point on that particular issue so when people are writing this they are skipping this in in the upsc in the structure of your exam in the answer every part of your answer has marks introduction has marks the main body has marks way forward has marks conclusion has marks if you do not write conclusion Till here, excellent answer, but you will not even get average marks because you lost this one one and a half mark which were meant for conclusion. You did not write. So how will you get call for interview? No, I am not right. So that is when we understanding how many parts there in the uh, what you call a question is very. There are many times when there are three to four parts also in the questions. So now it is your responsibility to divide those parts and address. each and every part of the question if you leave any part that part may have some points you will lose those points no matter the rest all you would have written very well you getting my point okay now how will you start this answer introduction kya likhoge for your advantage acha what is the best way to start an answer out of this nine pill boxes kya yeah. itna silence kyun hai yaar sawal pucha hai maine ha fact based fact based good two fact based करंट और फैक्ट 
ओके नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ यू यूज दिस और नो नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ यू यूज दिस इन रेस्पेक्ट आई ऑलवेज से इन द काउंसिलिंग डिड आई आस्क यू टू डिफाइन इज माई क्वेश्चन ऑलवेज इफ ही सेज डिफाइन देन यू विल राइट यू हैव टू डिफाइन इन इफ यू डू नॉट डिफाइन देन यू विल बी नाउ वॉट इज द बेस्ट वे टू कैच द अटेंशन ऑफ द इनविजुलेटर but not all questions but not all questions in 20 questions you will surely find 3 to 4 questions where there is a dilemma or an irony is involved if you start all the questions 20 with irony then the result will also be ironical so don't do that mistake so you should catch that question where you can open an introduction which be, which can be irony based and this irony based can be supported by fact now i have given you a hint ab batao are i love this silence serious hmm. so much of peace ab bol bol hai na irony plus fact batao दो मिनट हो गया नौ मिनट में दो मिनट गया हाँ बोल बेटा वेरी गुड फैक्ट ही सेट इन 1947 दी एवरेज लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी वाज दिस हाउ एवर टुडे इंडिया बोस दिस लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी बट इट हैज इट्स ओन पेरिल्स दिस इज वन डायमेंशन he has given another dimension on one side when the country is boasting about its demographic dividend the unaddressed area is the increasing life expectancy leading to its own challenges ha ah, ab batao are aayi baat samajh mein अब इसके साथ जोड़ना है जोड़ो अर्बनाइजेशन एंड लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी इंक्रीजिंग वेर दी डिपेंडेंट्स आर देर इन रूरल एरियाज एंड द चिल्ड्रन आर वर्किंग इन अर्बन एरियाज टू गेट अ लिविंग इश्यूज एसोसिएटेड विद दीज इश्यूज अरे सर नो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू राइट यू कैन नॉट स्टार्ट ऑफ लोग बुढ़े हो रहे हैं उनको दवाई देना है दारू देना है नो सो दिस इज वेन इज इज ही टेस्टिंग योर नॉलेज एनी वेयर हियर नो यू हैव ओपन एन आयरनी बेस्ड इंट्रोडक्शन यू आर सेंग इट इज सो आयरनिकल ऑन वन साइड यू आर बोस्टिंग ऑफ डिमोग्राफिक डिविडेंट ऑन द सेकेंड साइड देर इज एन इम्पेंडिंग पेरल नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज वेदर इंक्लीजिंग लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी इज गुड और बैड what has the government done in this regard this is one dimension where your facts will support you yes or no are yes or no so this is how you have to integrate your answer just imagine introduction mein kitna dimag lag raha hai you have to write hell lot of points in your mains the when see that is when what you should be doing is you create templates you create templates the beauty of template in any paper is whether it is history polity economy doesn't make any difference if you make a template what this template's name is vulnerable section vulnerable sections who all are vulnerable section women children physically handicapped your sc st your aged population and so on and so forth Yes or no? This is the list of your vulnerable section. You make a template, social. You make a template, age-related problems. You make a template, political-related problems. You make a template, health-related problems. You make a template, social exclusion-related problems here. Okay? You make health. Okay? Then you make 
environmental related problems, then you make legal issues. Abhi dekho answer kaise aata hai. Whatever you write here, it will be applicable to all of them. That is the beauty. That is the importance of making templates. This is what you will do after going back home. Class me ye nahi sikhaunga mein. I don't believe in spoon feeding this. This you have to do. This is what will take you to Labashna. Not my class or anybody else's class. It will not take, believe me. No matter I teach everything to you. If you do not go back home and do this, you will not go to Labashna ever. So, your success is dependent on you sitting on the chair and doing things. Not me teaching you, writing down and reproducing. That is not point. UPSC is not that. So, you need to make templates like this for all these subjects. Inflation template, unemployment template, poverty template, anything. You should have those templates ready with you. You revise the templates, go to the exam, you will you know, write and come back. That is where you have to develop the art of answer writing from the core information that we give you in the class, that is all. This core information I will give you. Now, structuring and all, practicing and all, it is your responsibility. If you do not practice how to draw a table, in the examination you will get confused how to draw a table. That hub and spoke model is the oldest model. Hub and spoke model me to answer likho ge, mai to pahle hi line mar dunga. I am bored of seeing that hub and spoke model, ek circle banaya. I am bored here. Try to understand that dimensions. You have to be innovative. That is what innovative approach to answer writing. This is where it comes from. Not exactly reproducing what is told to you in the class. It will not come. One not question code based. In GS, not many code based. Do not do that mistake in GS. One odd question, not too many, not even two. One question only with code, not more than that. Provided the topic demands a quote and you have an appropriate quote setting to the tone of the question, then only use that. Otherwise, leave it, no problem. So, it has to be, this is the safest to start, safest to start, but for this you need to work like anything, fact based. Fact based if you write, people will appreciate and justified, do not say India's life expectancy is 68, no, as per so and so, so and so survey released by so and so, so and so, for the duration so and so, India's life expectancy has increased to, that is right way of it. So, that is where so many dimensions will open up. You are giving him facts, he, he is hungry for facts, believe me, but not that your answer is dumped with facts only without any viewpoint. Viewpoint is an important, the fact should support your viewpoint, that you need to understand. So, developing that fact from extra sources is your homework. That is why I give, you know, whenever I take a class, box bano, ye likho, box bano, I give you homework. I am forcing you to go back home and study, but none of you are doing it. This is not graduation studies. Please come out of it at the earliest possible. Now, this is one uh, what you call dimension, explanation based. If you can write this for the answers where, you know, explain, bol ke aata hai. if you can write this, in the introduction only and if that explanation of that issue is good, he will award you excellent marks. Like the first question, what was the first question? Please read it for me, PPP wala. Why public private partnership required? Wait, why PPP is required? Okay. Okay. Wait. Examine ki jaga will change. Explain the role of role of PPP in what? In the development of various Okay. In the done. Yes or no? For this, your template should have been ready. This is the name of the template, institutional, oblique, sectoral.
सो मेनी डायमेंशन विद इन अग्रीकल्चर ठीक है एंड इन इंस्टीट्यूशनल now the template is what are the problems what are the solutions this is one template start writing jo bhi dimensions yahan pe likhoge what is the biggest dimension the economic dimension of funding most important research and technology statutory framework international cooperation can you make like this are yes or no ye templates banaoge tabhi likh paoge exam mein you cannot write from your class notes or textbook you will have to make templates of all the things that you read in this your railways is also coming now if you support your statement by taking the help of facts then you write the names of committees just the names of committees don't even have to write what they said what are you doing you are justifying your answer now because he has asked you about one dimension that is why ppp is first question what is the role can i connect this why ppp if not public private partnership what will happen what is the reason of why ppp first reason is to is to decouple very important decouple the burden of development from the shoulders of government alone government alone because it has its own agendas important agendas to take care and to support the government with the latest technological know how technological know how which is the strength of your private player very important making him making him part of your success so that conducive environment is maintained conducive environment is maintained in one more dimension this will allow more investments to come if more investment come the sovereign borrowing will get reduced are only ypp ke upar 250 words ka answer likh sakte hain but you will struggle to write three lines yppp because you have not made your templates when you are preparing i am telling you mains is dead easy to pass provided your strategy or approach preparation is right if your approach itself is wrong horizontal approach gaya day one gaya so you have to think from multiple dimension role of ppp anybody one point role of ppp one thing that ppp will force onto the government yeah early completion reduces the gestation period of the project that will have a positive impact on the economy this is the biggest role of ppp also to make what you call a, a scope of entrepreneur skill that is one dimension given example of various projects what are the various ways government has given whether it was built operate transfer or only built operate and keep you also only operating the various models of infrastructure you make an investment just two paragraphs me likhna hai next comes redevelopment of रेलवे स्टेशन अभी तो प्राइवेट ट्रेन भी चल रहे हैं ना यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो इट इज वेरी मच फ्रॉम दी करंट अफेयर हु इज स्टॉपिंग यू फ्रॉम डूइंग दिस दिस विल नॉट बी गिवन टू यू एनी बडी ऑन दिस अर्थ दिस यू हैव टू मेक एंड दिस विल ओनली कम इन दी एग्जाम नथिंग एज आई एम टेलिंग यू मैं आई आर पढ़ाऊंगा इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी पढ़ाऊंगा इकोनॉमी पढ़ाऊंगा वॉट एवर आई विल टीच विल नॉट कम वॉट एवर यू हैव कॉम्प्रीहेंडेड फ्रॉम वॉट आई हैव टॉट 
what you went back home and made templates out of it, that will only come. And your templates should not be shared with anybody else. This is a bloody competitive examination, keep that competitive spirit high. You, you guide the others how to make, but do not allow anybody to take pictures of your people, what you call templates, because your entire 20 questions is a result of what is there in the templates. Believe me, everything will come. You will come back and thank me from your soul. Say, sir, jo aapne bola sa, wahi hua. Uh, I guided one student, Sindhu, not exactly me, Asher guided one student, Sindhu, GS paper 3. 17 questions came from the templates what he has made. 1717, I am not exaggerating. If you want, I will share the screenshots. It will come. Kaan jayega? That some bloody cellulose question something came. Except for those kind of questions, everything else came from the book. One notebook which he had prepared. It will come. So, try to understand the importance of what you call the correct way of learning. Now, this not more than one question, controversial introduction, not more than one. If at all the two topics ajate, still desist from opening a controversial state, not more than one, one is fairly enough. So, please make a note of these nine ways of introducing an answer. And next time, if I see this in the answer, I will hang you upside down. Agar definition diggya, if the question says define, then only you will write define it. Otherwise, you will not define it. And one more very good way of writing the answer is opening a historical perspective. Very beautifully you can write an answer. Opening a historical question, the India-China border dispute ko historically karo bolke, koi likha hi nahi. Jabke maine history bhi de diya class mein, 1914 ki baat ki, I spoke to 1914, uh, what you call agreement, everything I spoke, but still people did not write. See, it is not possible to teach everything in the classroom. One, second, it is not advisable to teach everything in the classroom. If I teach everything, your understanding of the topics will be very, very superficial. Try to understand, okay? It is for your benefit. Explaining is, definition is here. If I say, what is cyber security, then you will define what is cyber security. Cyber security involves safeguarding your own what you call systems, networks and other software components from an external threat which may emanate from a system, network or something. This is the definition that you have given. But if I am starting an explanation based answer, how cyber security will ensure that your entire infrastructure is in safe hands? That is when you have gone a step ahead beyond definition and given this. But if I said what is so, what is, it is kind of defined. The first stage of answer writing is defining. The second stage of answer writing is explanation. Okay. You go a step further beyond explanation. Where it leaves you, it you will go beyond. Man internal security may chapter padayatha, linkage between organized crime and money laundering, uh, terrorism. Question has come straight away. They will link organized crime, money laundering, organized crime and Terrorism. Question will come. Kaan jayega? I told you cyber security question ke bina. Without a question on cyber security, there has never been a what you call examination paper. Money laundering. Without that, there won't be any. So all these things are important. Okay? Right? I am writing. We have dwelt up. I don't know. Everything. No, very important. Paragraph spacing and sequencing. Say this is your booklet. This is the space taken over by UPSC. And here the question is there. The question ran till here. This is the end of question. Now, when you start your answer, you will have to Give a break of this. Itna chhod do. Start your paragraph from here. 
you write you write you write you end here this is the full stop the next paragraph will again start here it will not start here same sequence if there is a side heading start here and no capitals in side heading capitals only allow allowed in center headings this is called a center heading this is called a center heading and upsc there is no scope for center headings in gs answer writing so here only running capitals the first letter capital then this is called running capital not this capital you cannot write like this this is against the major st see what i am talking is see bureaucracy arm forces these are all british legacies this service writing is also a british legacy so as per the british legacy you will have to write like this only if there are two segments of a question first question why ppp if there are two segments of a question if there are two questions of a segment you started your introduction here say example you completed your introduction not more than 3 4 lines not more than 3 4 lines you do one y p p p this is one you write this part you remove so you write y p p p you end here next dimension 2 roll of ppp then you again write he knows where it is starting where it is ending he comes to know why ppp is between this brackets i need to comprehend roll of ppp agar andar sab paragraph headings you want to do two to three paragraphs one two three if you have written one paragraph if you have to write anything inside it is always a after one you continue this if you have to write anything under this this is roman number chota wala i chota wala two if you want to write anything under this it is a a this is the sequencing in service writing you cannot write the way you want to write you will be penalized because he does not know if you disturb the sequencing he does not know whether this is supporting this this is supporting this this is supporting this or not usko samajh nahi aaya please make a note so your paragraph sequencing is also an important element of your answer writing basics basics the problem is college mein ye sab nahi padhate that's the challenge padhane par bhi tum sunne ko bhi nahi see the paragraph spacings avoid this my suggestion somebody will write do this we are used to somebody will do this this can be considered as identification marks in your answer writing can be so never do that mistake when i have given you the way you continue writing like that okay spacing just see the spacing of paragraph don't you feel beautifully spaced yes or no kahin bhi aapko is it looking random to you anywhere see why she he or she i don't know looks to me as if she with the handwriting is it possible is it possible to guess with handwriting boy or girl it is possible to guess theek hai ha bulleting and numbering ye dekho one kiya kya kiya no 
do not do that. Underlining of the content 15 to 20 percent report committee findings important articles. See what did I tell you? Underlining should always follow a flow of thought. This is wrong actually, but because she wrote he or she wrote from end to end whether you construe it as center heading or side heading we do not know that is the logic. Pen, I have told you, very important. This you should never do. You will pay a huge price if you do. Very important. See, if you are adding anything to draw something, it should be purposefully drawn. It should be purposefully drawn. If you are drawing a, for example, say map of India, this is what you have drawn, for example, then you will write on top This is what you have to do. You have to do this. You have to write what that diagram is depicting. Okay? Yeah, right. If you do not want to write diagrammatic representation and all, write map depicting something like that, or you just write map colon to delete all this lipo coal producing states in India. Okay? That is where it is important. Okay? See wherever you feel, wherever you feel the content is too much and I do not have time and space, try to explain it diagrammatically it is easier for comprehending also. Okay? That is where it says it can be used to explain difficult concepts which are otherwise difficult to write, very important dimension. Okay? Vocabulary jis ka kharaab hai usna to karna hi karna hai. Labeling of the diagram is compulsory because Pencil is not allowed in UPSC. I hope you are aware. You are not supposed to use pencil in UPSC because it can be erased. Tomorrow you will go and file a case, sir. I have put map dala tha. It is blank here now. So generally, it is told to be on safer side. Do not use pencil. It is always pen to be used. Boxing of the diagram is a must. It defines the boundary of the diagram. Once you draw the diagram, you have to do this, very important, boxing of the diagram, not that boxing of the diagram. No green, no red in UPSC. It is black or blue. Kalika.
what I was telling you. See, example, listen, listen, very important I mentioned. You were writing something here, yaha tak aapne likh diya, full stop. You wanted to tell something here. I told you, this is one way of Rashmi, this is one way of writing. She uses this hub and spoke model quite a lot. Abhi ye purana ho gaya hai. Now it is in your ingenuity how to create a new dimension. Ab wo mein nahi sikhaun. Ab you want, you do this. Who is stopping you? This is also hub and spoke, right? Ab ye bhi mai sikhaun ga. This is what you write in the center, whatever you want to write. This is also an example of hub and spoke model. Ab isko aur karna hai, isko semi circle karlo. You have to break the mono, try to understand what I am trying to do. I am not only trying to diagrammatically show, I am trying to break his monotony also. Very important. I was saying, you make a box here, you make a box this side, here some other dimension you are trying to show, you bring it this side. I am telling you, you will be awarded for your innovation in answer writing, but it should not be so sketchy. Everything has a limit. Okay? बोलते हैं ना हद से ज्यादा भी प्यार नहीं करना वो वाला हिसाब ठीक है दिस इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी गुड वे ऑफ राइटिंग आंसर्स पिरामिडिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स आई एम सींग मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी ऑफ दिस इफ समबडी इज यूजिंग only this which is old uh, try to find your own ingenuity colors can be used in the maps colors can be used in the maps and should be used in the maps the only place where you get the liberty to use the color is the maps okay you should use It is there. Somebody has done that. Usme jo bhi likha hoga, probably he will not even read it. Probably, but he'll give marks. So try to understand what message they are trying to give. Very difficult, no? Anything said before but or after if? I love you. If you tell your father to transfer 2 crores into my account. Okay. Try to understand. Same question. I love you, but I already have a girlfriend. So, anything before but or after if is meaningless. Try to understand. Safer side, but not all 20 answers. I am forewarning you. If the answer has many dimensions, again point. Okay. Ha, biggest mistake, Nagarjuna, perfectionism in the answer. Nobody is looking for your perfect answer. Read that paragraph. Log bolte start your mentorship, start writing. Sir, my syllabus is still not complete. I will complete my syllabus and come. Woh teen saal se aai raha hai. Aai aai nahi rukhi. Teen saal ho gai. Elusive perfection. The perfection which is running in front, you are running behind, 
that perfection. Please do not do that mistake. If you only do two things in UPSC, you will pass means. Improve your terminology subject wise and secondly never ever lose focus on the spine of the question. What he is asking whether I am writing or not. Simple, I should not be writing what I know, I should be writing what he is asking. This has been told to me by a very big person from UPSC, a retired chairman of UPSC. He said, Obrai, we never ask a question. We are only asking your opinion. Never fail to give an opinion. When I was a student, I happened to meet him. This is very important for essay. Smooth transition between the paragraphs. Effective time management, this you can. Mm -hmm.